Okay, so this video we're going to talk about the uh, how we write the micro symbol. So micro is a prefix that we can put in front of meters, liters, and grams. And traditionally, we've written it the micro with this symbol. It's called a mu. It's a Greek letter, and you write this symbol. It's, it's a funny looking U with a tail. You write the tail at the beginning, and then the letter U. So the tail first and then the U. This is the uh, traditional way of writing micro. So basically, this would be a microgram, this would be a microliter, and this would be a micrometer, a very short distance. Uh, that's good, right? Um, so that's always what we used to do in the past. Now we also have other prefixes, you know, kilo and nano, and one of the other ones is milli. And milli is an M traditionally, right? That lists the letter M. So if we write MG, that means milligrams. If we write ML, that means milliliters. And if we write MM, that means millimeters. So that's all good. But here is where things start to get a little tricky. So I write my mu's very clearly with a big tail at the beginning, so they're very obvious. And I write my M's kind of humpy like that. All right, that's how I write my micro and my mil and my um, milli. Uh, but some people write their M's like this, like Mary. All right, they don't make humpy M's, they make M's like this. All right, so uh, maybe you can start to see where this is going. I'm gonna erase some space here and talk a little bit more. So this becomes a problem um, when people's, uh, so a mu looks like this and an M looks like that, but an M can also look like that. And you can see how um, this M or th this mu can maybe look a bit like this micro. And things can start to get a bit confusing. Now, this is really uh, a big deal for medicine. So for example, if a doctor, they, doctors have uh, legendarily bad handwriting, right? If a doctor wrote this, is this a milligram? Is it supposed to be an M like this? Or, uh, or is this a, is it supposed to be a milligram or is it supposed to be a microgram? Is it supposed to be a mu or is it supposed to be an M? It's sloppy, it's hard to tell. I wouldn't like to call that. And so the problem with this is if you give someone a milligram of medicine when you were supposed to give them a microgram, you've given them a thousand fold overdose. Um, and so that's a big deal. That can potentially kill your patient. You don't wanna do that. So, uh, or um, similarly, if you're supposed to give them a milligram and you give them a microgram, you've given them a thousand times too little medicine. So we need to come, we need to, there became an issue with people's handwriting and being able to distinguish between an M and a mu, especially when people aren't writing neatly. So uh, instead of using the mu for micro, now in healthcare, they require that you write MC for micro or even MIC. Okay, so basically, um, Mu, MC, and MIC. These all mean micro now. So let's make some space here a second. So if I wanted to write um, microgram in the olden days, I would have written this. Now I write MCG or I write MICG. And there's no way that it can be um, these micro MCG or MICG. Um, is very different than MG. So this is, this one here is a milligram. And then these two here are two different ways of writing microgram. And in Hospitals nowadays, they are requiring that you use this one or this one. And that totally um, avoids the potential medical mistakes that can occur when someone misreads a, a mu for an M and, and screws that up. So 
uh, for me, it's kind of hard because I grew up always using the Mew and I've written it probably a billion times in my life. So training myself to write an MC instead of a, a Mew symbol is, is pretty tough. I tr I'm trying to retrain my brain. Um, but for you guys, you really need to start using MC or M-I-C for micro. All right, that's the end of this little video.